Hello and welcome to this advanced installation video where today we're going to be talking about the installation process for the scan server and it's going to be a dedicated scan server and this can be in a situation where it's a fresh install and you're doing the advanced installation where you have three the three different components on separate servers or this could be where you are expanding your installation your current installation with a separate or an additional scan server so with that let's jump right into my server here and let's go through this installation process as I've already done here, and you can see on the screen, I have gone through the process of accessing app.landsweeper.com. I've already created my account. I have created the site. I have downloaded my scanner. I've also installed the database. That's important to have that database installed first because the scan server is gonna need to communicate over to that database. And here I am now, I have gone through this download process and I have my download right here. Let's initiate this installation. And let me get rid of some of this noise here on the screen. And let's click accept. I'm gonna go through the advanced installation process. And of course, I've got the SQL server already installed. I'm gonna uncheck these other services. Now, it's possible you could install uh, the web service already on this particular server if you would like. But for this particular demo, I'm just gonna leave that unchecked, but you can do any combination that you would like with, these, with this installer. I'm gonna click on next. It's gonna ask me where is my database? My current database is on this server. And I'm gonna use the Windows authentication and click next. It goes through those checks. Then it, when it gets finished here, it's gonna ask me if I wanna install this to the same location here, the, the default location. I'm gonna keep it where it's at and I'm gonna continue now, go through this installation process. And that completes the installation process. Now that I'm at this finish window, I click on finish, website opens up and tells me that this is all set. But the next thing that needs to happen is to get that Landsweeper's IIS services installed for that local web console that will finalize that configuration, allow us to be able to communicate up to Landsweeper sites to get all that information syncing. I hope this is helpful. I look forward to seeing you in the next video where we're gonna install that web client and that web console. I'll see you on the next one.